Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. Now let's take a look at how we can use 2D tracking to add lens flares to the headlights of just some random cars that are driving by your house. So let's just preview this. As you can see there are two lens flares that are shining from this car's headlights. And uh, they are following along nicely. I have another example where I got this orange car and then I added some orange lens flares to its uh, headlights. So how was this done? Um, it's pretty simple. As you can see there are two null objects uh, at the lights. And that means I've tracked each uh, headlight and then taking the position data I added it onto uh, some null objects. And then I used uh, a plugin to create lens flares and they basically just made them uh, sit on the headlights. So um, how is that done? Well, we take uh, our video and put it onto this, drag it onto the new composition button. And then we will basically just say, okay, we want our animation to start here and end here. Let's just make not make it too far because tracking can be a bit uh, time consuming and it's very boring to look at someone tracking uh, footage. So um, I'll rename this to uh, Lens Flare Tutorial. And uh, yeah, of co this should probably have been, been two words. I'm sorry about that. But um, as you can see, we have got some all right resolution to work with. If we open this up, it is 1080p. Um, but since I, I, I recorded this on my phone, and uh, even though it's a Galaxy S7, uh, I was zoomed in, so the resolution has suffered a bit. Um, but as you can see, there's still some texture around the headlights, so this is going to be more than enough to track. Um, we are going to be using just the position tracker because we don't need any rotation. Um, why would we need rotation if we just want a point? So um, what I did was right click and then say track motion and we get this uh, track point that I will place over this headlight. And then I'll just move this in so that I have a bit of the edge because uh, the contrast between the headlight and the hood of the car is nice to have. And then I'll just stretch this out a little bit and move it actually this way because in the next frame the car will have moved this way towards the curse over here. And that means there's about 0% chance of um, of this box of the, or the headlight being over here. So why not let the tracker look over here instead of over here where there's a 0% chance of uh, this uh, box being or the headlight. So let's just put it some somewhere like that and uh, now let's just analyze one frame forward and as you can see it, it's uh, tracking the headlight nicely. I'll just hit analyze forwards and see what it comes up with on its own. And as you can see it's now done and uh, in my opinion it tracked the headlight nicely. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect for this, um, but of course uh, precision is always very nice. So um, as I did in the other example, uh, where was it? 2D tracking Jack Daniels, I think it was this one. Um, yeah, but as I did in the other example, we want to now take this position data and then add it onto a uh, null object. So call this data, and uh, we will take 
the target and set it to data. When there's only two objects, it will always choose the object that isn't the video. So it will always choose data. Um, and then I will hit apply to X and Y. And as we can see, our null object, which is right here, is now following the headlight. I will actually change the name to uh, uh, left, because this is the left headlight of the car. And uh, I will repeat the process footage. So right click, track motion, take this tracker and uh, place it on the other headlight. Then I will move this over a bit, like that. And uh, there we go. Let's just analyze forwards. And as you can see, it tracked that perfectly. Let's create a new null object. Call it right, because it's the right uh, headlight. And then, as you can see now, we can edit the target and choose right instead of left. If we chose left, it would override uh, what had been added to left. So, yeah, we don't want that. Let's just apply uh, the position data. And as we can see, does not look right. That was a bit strange why that happened. Uh, track motion. That was very strange why it didn't do it correctly. Let's just try again. The tracker can be a bit uh, uh, tricky to work with because of how it uh, stores your uh, tracks but as you can see it's currently tracking this nicely let's edit the target right apply okay and as we can see now this um, this is looking correct so the two null objects are moving along with the headlights perfectly so um it's now time to uh, create the lens flares. So we can just do Control Y to create a new solid. Call this uh, flare and press Enter. And uh, we can just type in lens flare. And uh, this will create a decent lens flare. This is all built into After Effects. And uh, the lens flares, they look all right. Um, as you can see, let's just put this to normal. This is how it looks. Um, a lens flare has a center position uh, that you can move around and uh, if you do that then you'll see uh, all this shininess will like move uh, accordingly and uh, you can ha you have some different lens types uh, I think I'll choose this uh, 105 millimeter prime just because it looks the coolest and then I'll have to set this to uh, screen in order for it to blend over the, uh, the image right here. So uh, if we go into, let's say, right, press P to find the position and then go to the first frame. We can actually just highlight position and then do Control C to copy and then go into our flare and then all, sorry, just highlight a uh, flare sorry let's go into the flare find the effect and then pick the lens flare center and then do control V and that way the position will be uh, copied onto um, this uh, effect I will then just turn down the brightness to match and uh, I will repeat the same thing for the other light so I'll take a new layer call this flare 2 add the lens flare pick this preset, set it to screen go into left copy the position go into flare 2, effect, lens flare, flare sensor and paste and then change the brightness 
and as we can see we've now added some lens flares um, but since we're using the built-in lens flares of uh, After Effects this does not look very nice because well, <laughs> as you can see the lens where they are they are very low quality and yeah they're just not very photorealistic so let's just delete these two things because they look very bad uh, I want to keep the positions and then I want to um, create a new layer call it optical flares and if you're lucky enough to own this um, plugin then you can use it it's uh, a paid plugin it's called optical flare flares and it's made by video copilot if we take this instead we have some very cool options this is basically a plugin that's made to just uh, create lens flares so I can pick a lens flare and then all these uh, all this that goes out here to the side that will like move when the flare moves so I want to just hide those real quick uh, yeah that should be good and as you can see now we have a much much nicer uh, flare I will put this to the screen and then I will go into uh, the effects optical flare and then the position which is this position I will go into uh, let's say the right copy this position once again be in the first frame and then paste it and uh, the flare will now be on the car we can turn down the brightness to let's say 40 and uh, just repeat this so we can also instead of creating a new layer we can just do control D to duplicate and then uh, we want to go into uh, effects again and take all these keyframes and uh, delete them because we don't want these on this other layer we want to take the keyframes from left copy those and then add them to uh, to this instead okay I may have been a bit quick but uh, I'm sure you're gonna be able to follow along just do click wherever I click and uh, everything should be alright so um, if we preview this you will see um, some much nicer looking um, lens flares as, as we can see now the lens flares are pretty uh, static they just move along they don't like look very realistic so we can change that by uh, animating the uh, evolution so as you can see if I change this it's like the lens flares are moving or something so uh, if we want to uh, do a easy animation we can just alt click on this uh, th uh, icon here and then just do like time times uh, let's say 30 and that means it will take the time uh, whatever time is at and then time it by 30 and that's gonna be how many degrees of animation evolution uh, it will have so if I move along you can see it will be at let's say 9 I may have to make this much higher because it's not really doing anything and if we preview this you will see this guy on the left is now animating we may even have to increase this it's pretty hard to see how much it's actually doing okay this is way too much it's hard to see maybe 90 is good Yeah, but this we will have to play around with when it's not uh, moving around that's the easiest way um, but now you know the basics of how to add uh, lens flares to a car there are of course uh, other options like the flicker that's gonna make it like uh, flicker in brightness 
that's also adding to the realism right now it's flickering a bit too much let's say maybe 17 and uh, look again if you have this plugin you can also change the presets let's say this uh, air missile and uh, you may have to increase the brightness but uh, this just adds some very uh, this this helps to add some very cool elements to your animations um, it's very easy to use this plugin and uh, it makes everything you do look a lot more sci-fi ish so we here we have a car with laser eyes yeah so this is about it for how you can add lens flares to the headlights of whatever vehicle you see on the roads and whatever else you want to add lens flares to or whatever else you want to just track an object on so you can do it this way and uh, yeah thank you for watching edupedia world stay tuned for more videos